What is up all you worship peoples? Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Nate Meist and I love equipping worship leaders with helpful and encouraging content. And today we're going to be looking at how to play on an acoustic guitar the song Good To Me by none other than yours truly. Let's get into it. so much for hanging out with me. If these videos are helping you, which is the goal, why don't you give them a like and maybe even ring that notification bell or subscribe so that you don't miss future worship tutorials. All right, there are three things we'll be looking at in this video to help you learn this song on an acoustic guitar. The first thing is key and capo. The key that the song was originally recorded in, the key that all we have singing it in, and some other keys you can play this song in using your capo. Uh, the second thing are the strumming patterns, uh, what I use strumming pattern wise to get through this song on an acoustic guitar. And the third and final thing are the chords. I'm going to play through each section of the song individually and as I do I will uh, as always have these handy little chord diagrams in the upper right hand corner uh, that you can uh, pause the video and see exactly what I'm playing uh, for each chord of the song. As always, this video is segmented so you can skip ahead to any part of the song that you'd like to learn. Just a quick side note, hit my website up, natemice.com, to get a chord chart for this song because I own the rights to the song because I wrote it and recorded it and did all that stuff. I can give you the chord chart for free. You don't have to subscribe to some service online or whatever. Just find it at my website and the chord chart is yours. You can follow along. I have it there in the C position as well as in the original key, the key of E. All right, so when I recorded this song, we did it in the key of E. That was the best key for my voice. And what that means for you on an acoustic guitar, typically, um, is having your capo on fret number four, so one, two, three, four, and playing in what's called the C position. And you would be in the key of E. If you don't know what the C position is or how to play in it, I have a video for that, so click up above or down below. But obviously I'm gonna stay in that key because I'm the one that sang it on the recording. Um, so yeah, that's that's a great key for my voice. <laughs> um, so if you wanted to play some other keys, uh, you could go up, I suppose, half a step, up to the key of F, fret number five, using the same uh, position, the chord shapes that I'm gonna teach you in this video. You could go down to fret number three, that would put you in the key of E flat or D sharp. Fret number two would be the key of D. And fret number one would be the key of D flat or C sharp. And then obviously if you take your capo off completely, you'd be in the key of C because you're playing the C position and when you're in standard tuning, that means you're playing a C chord when there's no capo on your guitar. All right, so strumming pattern wise for this song, it's kind of tricky because the majority of the song doesn't really have like a, uh, you know, a, uh, a consistent like drum beat. You know, a, a lot of it doesn't have a beat. Um, or any kind of rhythm. The second verse, uh, there's kind of like this military beat that kind of comes in. Um, it's not until the very last chorus that there's like an official, like, uh, you know, typical drum beat for that last couple choruses, you know, and that's when I'll really start strumming. Uh, but for the majority of the song, I'm gonna be doing this. Just kind of, Hitting all the strings on like uh, the 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 downbeat or you know when there's a significant like chord change, um, and then uh, the rest of the time just you know keeping that wrist going and strumming the, the higher strings. So if I zoom the camera in, it's going to look like. Like that. Now when it gets to the final chorus, this is the strumming pattern that I'm going to play for that. So one, two, three, four. Let's slow that down. So one, two, three, four, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down. Now 
dot strumming pattern is another one of those. I think I had it in the um, Yesterday, Today, and Forever tutorial, or it could have been another one. But um, on the second, uh, up, down, up, down. So down, 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 up, down, up, down. That up, down, up, down. The first up, down, <laughs> it's, it's so confusing. But the first up, down is on the higher strings, up, down. And then the second up, down is on the lower strings, up, down. So it's to give that kind of the drum beat feel. So that's kind of the feel I'm going for. So, um, so all the strings down, 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 higher strings up, down, lower strings up, down. So. So you can see like how I'm using that strumming pattern to get that that drum beat vibe. All right, let's learn these chords. For the intro, we are just pedaling that E chord, um, or in our positional uh, situation here, the C chord. So one, two, three, four. To verse number one. All right, verse number one. We're going to keep that, once again, that wrist going for this first verse. So one, two, three, four. God, you are good to me. Your favor is all that I need. And whenever I'm in Whenever I'm in need, God, you are good to me. All right, chorus number one. So one, two, three. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the God that never Verse number two, I'm going to be going kind of like a palm muted vibe for this one. So one, two, three, four. Lord, you extend your hand. Even when I'm in that dark and foreign land. Despite my sin and shame, you never turn away. God, you are good to me. All right, for this second chorus, I'm going to keep my wrist going on that strumming pattern, uh, but I'm going to be emphasizing uh, the lower strings more to coincide with the drum beat, because that drum beat is, uh, you get those kick hits, the doo doo, gah. And so I'm going to be kind of doing like a. To, to kind of match what the drums are doing. So you'll see. Let's play through the chorus. So one, two, three. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the God. Verse number three, I'm going to be playing very lightly here to match what the album does until the end when it builds into the final choruses. So let's do this verse number three. All right, verse number three, we're going to be playing very lightly here uh, to match what the album does until it gets to the end when we build into the final choruses. So let's play through this verse. 
So one, two, three, four. Christ, you are far above. Unattainable, you are without your love. By humility and grace, you came down upon earth's face. And you spoke the words of life that set us. final choruses. All right, these are the last uh, two choruses, um, and then this is when we bring in that strumming pattern that I taught you earlier in the video. So let's play through uh, these two choruses. So one, two, three. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the God To the tags. These are the two tags after you end the song, after those two choruses, and this is pretty much the ending of the song. So one, two, three. Hallelujah to the God that never fails. Hallelujah to the God that never so those are all the chords for my song, Good To Me. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. If you're doing this song, I especially want to know about it because that would really just blow my mind. I hope that this video does help you to do this song if you are doing it. Um, you know, feel free to check this song out on, it's basically on every music platform that you could imagine. Definitely the main one, so Apple Music, Spotify, Amazon. Um, so look to those if you'd like to hear the song in its entirety, in like the full band, cool, you know, studio recording vibe. And once again, chord chart for the song, absolutely free on my website, natemice.com. So go there to grab a chord chart for it. Um, I hope that you guys are doing amazing and wherever you are leading worship or doing ministry, I know that the Lord is with you and that he is blessing the work of your hands. Continue to do the good work. I will see you guys in the next video.